up. No, we're not eating toilet paper spring. Hello everyone, what is up? Hello everyone, what is up? It is Brooke Tomer here. And today I am teaching my little Italian greyhound, Sprinkle Marco Jean, how to cover her eyes. Or I like to call the trick, are you embarrassed? So we're gonna teach her the are you embarrassed trick. And this is her sister, Cedar. <laughs> If you're new to my channel, these are my two dogs. Uh, this is Cedar the Border Collie and Sprinkle Margaret the Italian Greyhound. When I usually do dog trick videos, my dogs already, my dogs <laughs> know how to do the tricks already, but today I thought I would show you how to teach a dog from scratch. So Sprinkle doesn't know this trick yet and I'm about to show you how to teach your dog and what it actually looks like to teach a dog that doesn't know this trick. So what you're gonna start off with is a piece of tape. I've just got a little rolled up piece of duct tape here and treaties. Sprinkle is such a foodie. She loves any type of food. <laughs> no, okay. You're too big. Now you're blocking your sister. Maybe next video I can show you how to do the trick. Oh, see, that's the thing about Sprinkle Margaret is that she's whingy. Cedar and I have done a lot of training together, haven't we, doll? Sprinkle Margaret, on the other hand, she is the... <laughs> she is like the little... <laughs> I can't do this. Sprinkle, come here, bub. Sit. Come here, bub. It's about the attitude on this girl. Sprinkle Margaret. Good girl, speak. Yes! Can you say hello? Yes! Sprinkle Margaret, can you drop? Yes! Oh, this is her new one. Bam! Yay! I'm going to put this on her face and the moment she reaches for it is the moment that I'm going to reward her. It's freaky. Come here. In hindsight, I probably should have let her sniff that tape first just to make sure that she knows that it's not going to hurt her or anything. I'll let her sniff it now. Be safe. See, it's not going to bother you. Do you know what's on there? Yes, good girl, Spring! That was good because it's clearly not bothering her as much now that it's on the top of her head, but she still wants it off. So I'll try and get her to touch it again. I'm just gonna give her a rest now, just so she doesn't get like overwhelmed or anything with this new object going on her head. It is beneficial to give them a little break every couple, I'd say every five minutes or so, just to let them have a little moment to kind of regroup and, and think about what's happening. So when she comes back to me, is good girl, is when I'm gonna start treating her again. So as you can see now, she's waiting her turn. She wants to know what's going on. She wants some more chicken. Yeah, cool. Ready? I'm gonna try again. Okay, Spring, get it off. You're so cute. She is so cute, surely. So this is what dog training really looks like. It's a lot of waiting and just waiting for them to basically figure out what to do and what's getting the rewards. Whereas if I keep telling her now like, yes, good girl, I'm not giving it a marker yet. I'm not saying the words that I wanna say as a cue. Like I will say in the future when she knows what to do, I'll say, are you embarrassed? She doesn't know what that means yet, so I'm just gonna wait for her to figure out the movement that is getting her treats. Once she figures that out, then I'll mark it. So come here, Bob. You look like you're trying to scare away the aliens with your tinfoil hat on. You're being a good girl. You are. Do you wanna to touch what's on your head for me? Yes, good girl. So with Sprinkle, I think this is gonna take quite a few training sessions to get right. Yes, good girl. So she hasn't gotten it off yet, but the moment she takes it off her head, I'm just gonna leave it off because it seems that she's doing this movement a lot more frequently. So she might even be cluing on to the fact that, yes, it's getting her treats. I'm not sure yet. So I'm just gonna leave that off now. And see if she just starts to touch her face. I don't think she will, but. Yes, her speak her roll over, her bang. She's gonna start trying all of those tricks because now she doesn't know what is making her get the treats now that she doesn't have that to focus on. So I'm just gonna ignore basically everything she does except for when she touches her head. 
if she does. And then if she doesn't start touching her head now for treats, then I'll just put the tape back on there and then we'll just keep doing this process until she eventually gets it, basically. But I will not give this word a cue. I'm not telling her what to do at all. You're just going to try everything on your darling. Yeah, so she's really not pulling on to what she needs to do. So I'm going to put that tape back on. So I'm probably going to give it about five tries now, make the duration of this tape being on her head less. Yes, good girl! So I'm just going to wait a little bit. Because dogs... You don't know what to do, huh? Let me let me help you. What if I give you this? What does that mean? Okay, Bob. Yes! Good girl! I'm just gonna remind her that the tape is a good thing. All she did was sniff it then, but yes! We don't want to lick it though. Now she just took a little nibble. I'll reward that as well. Yay! You know, she's just constantly nibbling the tape. So now I want to put it on her head again. Yes, that was a good one, Bobby. Yes, good, good girl. So I think she's just walking away voluntarily now while I have the treats in my hand. So I'm just going to give her a little break. Even if she thinks she doesn't want one, I think she needs one. So I'll give her a break for probably about two minutes. And I'll actually bring Cedar in here as well so she can have a little play and a little reset as well. You can come play. Good girls. We're just relaxing. Ready? Settle. Yes. So it's especially those moments when after the tape is off her head that she's still trying to itch it because either it's irritated her a little bit or it's made her head scratchy. They're the moments that you really want to make sure that you're rewarding because there's nothing on her head for her to scratch her head. It's just literally her hand meeting her head. And that is the exact movement that we want. So you want to make sure that you don't miss any of those cues. Yes, good girl. Yes, good baby. I've just noticed that she's started to slightly dig at the ground now and scratch her head on the ground. So I think she's starting to clue on that touching her head or something to do with the tape is actually the one getting her treats. So if I touch her head, oh, itchy. Yes, good girl! Yes! So that wasn't the trick, but she's still moving her head and trying to figure out if that's what it, if that's what it is. Just then a little bit, which I liked. Yes, good girl! Yes, good girl! Good baby! Come on, come here. Sprinkle. <laughs> yes, good girl! So what she did was put her head on the ground, but... Yes! But I'm liking the fact that she knows that it's her head. Yes, good girl. I'm just gonna reward pretty much anything she does with her head, whether she does wipe it on the ground or touches it. That's, that's a step in the right direction because once she figures out it's her head, she's gonna try getting experimental with that. <laughs> so I'm gonna just put it back on there. Yes, good girl, sprinkle, yes. Yes, good girl. Yes, good girl. Good girl. Yes, good girl. So I'm just leaving the tape there on the ground for her to access to make sure that she knows that it's not the tape itself that's getting her the treat because she can touch it, she can look at it, and it's not going to be that that's causing her to get the chicken. So you can see she's touching it now, she's looking back at me, she's nibbling on it, she's looking back at me getting angry because that wasn't it. Yes, good girl, Sprinkle, that was awesome! Yes, good girl! Yes, good girl, Sprinkle!
very cool. Yeah, so she's just started sniffing and walking away, so that indicates to me that she needs another little break. So we're definitely making progress here. <laughs> yes, good girl. So now, because she is doing that sideways movement with her head and laying completely still, I'm not gonna reward her for that anymore until she touches her face. So I was rewarding her for putting her head on the ground because we did want her to initiate the movement with her head. But now that she's just laying on the ground and she's unsure where to go next, I'm only gonna give her a chicken when she actually touches her face. Yes, good girl, Sprink. Yes, good girl. If you're wondering if there's something wrong with her, no, there's not. She's just has always been this vocal. Now that she's kind of understanding the movement, I'm gonna give it a little hand signal, which will be this. I don't know why, that's just what it's gonna be. Yes, good girl, yay! Good girl, Spring! Yes, good girl! Yes, good girl! Spring! Yes, good girl! Yes! Are you embarrassed? Yes! Yes, good girl, Spring! Yes, good girl! Ready, Spring? Are you embarrassed? Yes, good girl! Considering that was our first ever training session, I am so super impressed with her. Yes! I have to give her one for that, that was so good. Okay, everyone, that is the end of that video. I hope you enjoyed watching my little baby sprinkle Margaret learn a new trick. Next video, oh, Cedar. My next video will be uh, Cedar learning another new trick. I think I'll teach Cedar a different new trick that you don't know yet, so you can see their different learning abilities and whether Sprinkle learns more like your dog or Cedar learns more like your dog, I'm sure you'll be able to gain something from one of the videos. So let me know what you want to see next and if you have any other trick ideas that you want me to teach Cedar. But other than that, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Say see you.